Why did this TV show die? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Al with Storm Dagger Films. I'm an actor, writer, director, editor, and everyday ain't gonna thing, y'all. And y'all, if y'all to the film and retain space like I am, maybe an actor, YouTube musician, or if you just like some good old movie content, TV stuff, this is the channel for you. So you might want to go ahead and get this channel, like, and subscribe, hit the bell notification. So don't miss a single thing when I be doing this channel. With that said, guys, let's get on to the video. So I got another great one for y'all today. And guys, I gotta talk about oh man one tv show that was just so epic that could have literally expanded on so much of their lore that could have literally rivaled a lot of these superhero franchises but man it really sucks that this show ended and it stopped after three seasons and the pandemic did play a part of it but this show is called siren i believe this show came out in 2017 if i'm not mistaken and wow guys what a cast i really enjoyed this show and like the first season was epic like I, I love every minute of this show but i understand why this show stopped and why you know it just it just did not keep on going and i'm about to get into that so one of the reasons why this show stopped and they just stopped making the show and uh, renouncing it for another season there's two factors to it for one it was the pandemic because after the third season um yeah and then the pandemic hit back in 2020 so you know trying to cross the border and go shoot over there i believe in vancouver where they were shooting this show they were shooting this show a mixture of us and also canada so they was like jumping between borders so with the whole pandemic going on it was very very tough to pretty much continue on and also on top of that the ratings for this show did go down which i understand but um, but I'm gonna get to that in a little minute. But um, but one of the things I noticed though with Siren, just the fact like, like the one of the reasons that it dropped off was because, see for one, this show did miss its mark. You know, it started off at this show where, you know, like you got these mermaids and they, well one of them gets taken and then the other one, like the sister is fighting trying to get the other one back, and like Ren our main character she was going savage man like I mean she was knocking off people and everything and I think it's that element that was the fatal flaw for this show you know like they didn't show off really much killer mermaid action or nothing um in a lot of the rest of the um seasons you know like it it was more just like a friendly alliance with all the mermaids going forward you know so that was probably his biggest flaw um, and, and the bad, like the one bad mermaid they did have for season three, they killed her off same season, which sucked. I mean, I was like, man, she was actually a really good character and they could have done a lot more with her. So, oh man, I just wish they would have stuck with the whole killer mermaid vibe. That's what they should have done. And I guarantee this show would have been a lot more better. If I, at least if I was directing this show, I would have stuck with would have made, you know, the show a success in the first place back in season one because like <laughs> i mean the mermaids was going crazy man like they was terrorizing people like that's what they should have stuck with that element and yeah they really missed the mark going forward they try to build this whole relationship with the human the mermaid and everything um you know between ren and ben and maddie which i mean at times it kind of worked but then like you're just like man just stick with what i got in season one so that's one flaw and then another flaw guys was also the ratings guys the ratings did drop for this show unfortunately you know that was due you know unfortunately like just to probably everything i probably just mentioned before you know why this show had dropped so yeah ratings is one of those things that played a part and helped kill this show but i do wonder though because like guys like this show was really like literally the top most viewed and just like like literally freeform's best show but they stopped it so that is one thing i do wonder you know like yeah i get the ratings drop and yeah i get the pandemic and everything but to end the show when it's like your best show that's very very strange to me especially the fact that like how much lore that they could have literally created with this show 
and getting this show on a higher level to literally rival in my opinion a lot of these superhero films like this like really guys they could have made their own mcu with this whole mermaid um show right here they could have gave some mermaids with some super cool abilities uh, down the road and you know they could have brought in so many cool elements with this show and it really sucks that it did go down and it did flop because of that and also the fact um another problem with it was just less action you know i noticed in like season two didn't have a lot of crazy action like actually both season two and season three there was less action i noticed that was a big flaw it didn't really get like like really cool until like either maybe like the start of the show and then like you're just working through the seasons and then it's just building up building up and then finally towards the end you get like oh wow that was epic now i want more and then they do the similar thing in season three it starts off epic but then it kind of fades off then it comes back so that's really the fatal flaw with siren just the fact that they really lessen on the action and you know they didn't really stick to the roots that really made this show great in season one which is a shame because man this show was epic and it should at least went on for one more season and also guys the cgi in this film i mean not film this tv show was incredible guys like this vfx team boy man they got down in this show and you don't see too many high level budget shows like this like man they got down in this one and it really sucks that um we didn't get really get, get to see more of that because god this was a cool show to watch in terms of cgi this film was whew, they went down like guys they got down on this show for cgi but um yeah guys that's really all i gotta say man i wish this show siren would keep on going but it is one of those shows one of these epic shows in my opinion that Hey man, we'll just never know how it continues. But hey, it was epic while it lasted. But it's your boy Al with Storm Dagger Films. Let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe, share, and I'll be seeing y'all next video. Y'all take it easy.